animatedanatomy.com. And these four muscles here that I explained create the lateral waller of the hand muscles. Now I should talk about the medial waller of the hand muscles. Now here is this muscle. This is the palmaris brevis. It is the first muscle in the medial waller that I will talk about. It has the origin right here on the flexor retinaculum, but it also has the origin on the palmar aponeurosis. Here is the palmar aponeurosis. It has the origin on this connective tissue here. The insertion is on the palm. It is innervated by the superficial branch of the ulnar nerve and has a very simple function. It serves to wrinkle the skin of the palm. The rest of the muscles in the medial waller are the hypotenar muscles. They serve for the control of the little finger. Now I remove the palmaris brevis so we can clearly see the origin of the abductor digiti minimi. And here it is. This bone here is the pisiform bone. The insertion of this muscle is the base of the proximal phalanx of the fifth finger and more precisely on the medial side or the ulnar side of the uh, phalanx. The nerve that innervates this muscle is the deep branch of the ulnar nerve and of course the muscle serves for the abduction of the little finger. That's why it's called the abductor digiti minimi. The next muscle that I will talk about is the flexor digiti minimi brevis. And here is the flexor digiti minimi. The flexor digiti minimi has the origin on the hamate bone. Here is the hamate bone. The insertion is the little finger. And this is also innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. It serves to flex the little finger. The muscles that oppose this muscle is the extensor digiti minimi muscle, which I explain in other lessons. Now the last muscle in this group that I will talk about is the opponent's digiti minimi. If you watch other lessons in my software, you will hear that I was talking about the opponents of the thumb. Well, now we have the opponents of the, di of the small finger. It's right here. And I will remove the flexor of the little finger so we can see the opponents better. And it is important because the opposite for the opposition movement, we need to move the thumb and we also need to move the little finger. Now here we can see it. Uh, the origin is the hook of the hamate bone and the flexor retinaculum. The hamate bone is right here and this is the flexor retinaculum, but it is not illustrated very good here. So the flexor retinaculum, this structure is also part of the origin for this muscle. And then it inserts on the medial border of the fifth metacarpal bone. It is innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve, C8 and T1, just like the Reeves muscles. In next lesson, I will talk about the intermediate group of the muscles. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description, or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, or like my video.